this video we are gonna start working with the front page template for our website. At the moment we are printing this from the index.php but I want to use a front page template. And if you remember this is the template hierarchy. You can click here and you can see that the, the main file is the index.php but you can create more specific files. You can create a, a file called home.php. You can create a page that is going to be shown in the front or you can create a front the dash page that php and that's exactly what we're going to create in this video so i'm going to copy this right click new file front page that php and i'm going to paste this and i'm going to add something like hello from front page that php you can see that WordPress will handle everything. You don't you don't have to make anything else. You can see now we have hello from front page that PHP. So you can remove this. And here, here we can start working with the HTML for this section. And I'm gonna add an H2 with a class text center. So we center this horizontally. Text center is a class that belongs to Bootstrap. Next, we need to add latest entries, the text. And you can save this and reload. And you can see we have latest entries. Right here, we have everything. Next, we need to create a section with the class container. So container is going to be the container that, be, that exists in the Bootstrap framework. And finally, we add content. Close this section. And we're gonna add a div with the class row. Close this. So now we have access to the grid that comes with Bootstrap. And I'm gonna add a PHP block again. You can see here we are uh, printing only six, the latest six entries. So we need to add args equals to an array. And you can add post per page equal to six then you can create a custom loop so we have uh, php entries equals to and i'm gonna add this as a variable entries equals to new wp query then we pass the args that we created here then we add a while and we access these entries have post we check that we have post and in case that we have more posts, we add entries the post. So this is the WordPress loop. We need to add another PHP block that says and while and WP reset post data. So you can print something here like an H3 with the title or something PHP, the title. And this will print the title of each entry. So I'm going to save this and reload. And you can see we have these entries, Oktoberfest, Pizza Festival, Beer Festival, Food, and everything is here on the, and I'm going to add admin admin, here on the post, uh, you will find this. So now our query is working. In the next video, we're going to add more, more bootstrap classes and more content. So we have something like this. And then we're going to add some styling.